It is one of the things we are least thankful for. Gangs and their violence. It seems they're plaguing our community like never before. I was seven. And then you turned hardcore when? When I was like 13, 14, I started carrying a gun, started shooting people, started doing drive-bys, started doing so many stuff at the age of 13. So How many I, people's life did you take away? No, I don't really know. All I know is about like three of them that I know about. There are so many other people. So many people, so many innocent victims, so many grieving parents. That's why this would seem the most unlikely Thanksgiving gathering of all. Gangbangers coming together to ask for forgiveness and pray for change. Gilbert Campos is coming to grips with the pain he has caused, the lies he has ruined. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry that I didn't know what I was doing. My mind was clogged up with just anger. I didn't know what I was really doing. Do you think that's enough? No, nah, but that's all I can think. You know, they can ask forgiveness, and they can be forgiven, but they can't forgive themselves, and they're tortured inside. Now, Gilbert and others like him practice something they know well, recruiting, but this time for a different purpose, the Victory Outreach Program. At services like this one, there are skits with chilling realism. The direct message often gets across. Johnny Esquivel is only 14, yet he already knows what it's like to shoot someone else. I had arguments with my mom all the time. You know, I never thought, she never showed me that she loved me. So I decided to go out with people that they had told me they care about me. When people do something to me, the, you know, at the time I never thought, and they will go back and do the same thing to the people that had done something to me. But he recently joined the program and covered over his gang tattoo with his initial. I pray the, the gang members that are here will be touched, they will feel with God love, because we got our change. Few sympathize with those who join gangs or pack guns, but at least there is hope that somewhere through the sound of gunfire and funeral marches lies the promise of change, of peace. Luis Patino reporting.